so close, you guys. So close. And then in an instant, everything changed. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another grocery haul and meal plan with you guys, and I am so disappointed. I was so close, you guys. Back on track, Monday grocery haul and meal plan. I was finally feeling like I was back in a routine, and then after everything that happened with my mom, it just kind of threw my whole routine off kilter. So if you guys missed my family update, I'll make sure to put it at the end slate of this video, but it definitely has been a rough week and going to the grocery store was just not on my mind. And so my kids came to me and said like, mom, we're dying in here. Like, when are you gonna go to the grocery store? It had been almost two weeks. So I called upon my Walmart grocery pickup, spent $144, a bunch of substitutions, but all in my favor. So I was super happy with that it works amazing especially in times like now where I can just pull into the parking lot and they put my groceries in and we're good to go so if you've never used Walmart grocery pickup I always have my link in the description box that saves you guys ten dollars off your first order and like I said I would be lost without it especially after this week so I'm gonna take you down to the counter I'm gonna show you what I spent $144 on in Walmart and then we'll get into the meal plan Okay guys, so here is a quick overview of what I got at Walmart's grocery pickup for $144. So I did pretty good, but tons of substitutions. So I'll go over them as I go along. Uh, I get, did get a pack of the 18 large organic brown eggs. I hope this is enough between hard boiled eggs and egg salad and then all the breakfast meal prep. I have a dozen already, but I'm hoping this should cut it. But I don't know, man, every like keto recipe and stuff, a lot of them use a lot of eggs. So I'm hoping that this is enough. Uh, we shall see. I got a thing of organic blueberries. These are still on rollback for $2, so I thought that was great. Got the Angel Sweet Cherry Tomatoes. Still can't get the ones that I love on the app, but these are okay for what I can order. Uh, one red onion, two cucumbers. I haven't been really pleased with the cucumbers that have been coming from the pickup, but maybe they're just not really in season yet, so hopefully in the next month or so, I'll start seeing some better choices, but they haven't really been the greatest. Uh, got a pack of green onions, a thing of organic bananas, See, now last time I showed you guys, I got like a fair amount of broccoli for my price by pound, and this time not so much. So I'll probably use like this one for snacking and stuff, and then this one I'll add to the little one that I have left the size to use for a side dish or a recipe, but you never know with the poundage what you're going to get when you do the um, pickup. Got a thing of organic strawberries, a thing of organic baby carrots. I got another four tomatoes this time, so that's really good. I don't normally buy the plastic containers of these because they're pretty expensive, except when it comes to the dill. It's the only way that this pickup um, offers the dill. So I usually pay a little bit more for this, but I want to try and throw this in my homemade ranch this time. But this was one of the substitutions. So they didn't have a bunch of cilantro, which is like 78 cents. So they gave me this, which is like three bucks. So, I mean, that's quite the upgrade. So I'll take it. Uh, I got a thing of organic baby bellow mushrooms, a thing of great value bacon, a thing of chicken breast. Once a week I've been buying this. I love keeping it in the refrigerator and never having to freeze it. A bag of gala apples for Mason, a small personal watermelon, two things of milk. I actually think that I'm going to try. I see that almond milk now is offered in chocolate and being that the kids drink a lot of chocolate milk, I'm wondering if I switch to the almond chocolate milk and they like it, if I can cut down to one gallon because now that I've been cutting carbs, I don't have a dessert at night so I don't crave a glass of milk and I've been not having milk at all which I was a huge milk drinker. I guarantee you at least half a gallon or three quarters of a gallon went to me throughout the week. So now that I'm not drinking it, we still have one. So even though it's my regular order, I don't wanna differentiate and take one away because then I, of course I'll, that'll be the week I'll have to run out in the middle. So we'll see, but I think next time I'm gonna try the almond milk and chocolate and see how that will help cut down on the milk purchase, even though that's only $1.40 a gallon. So it's not the end of the world. Um, here was another substitution. They gave me the homemade 
maker with pulp. I asked for no pulp. I feel like they should give me another orange juice with no pulp instead of offering the same brand with, but I don't really care. Daryl and I like pulp. The kids are like, eh, about it. I haven't been really drinking any juice, um, but the kids will deal for this one particular time. Uh, got some buttermilk. Like I said, I need to make some ranch again. Here was another substitution. I usually get that fresh pizza dough. They didn't have it. They substituted it for the Pillsbury pizza crust. Normally, I would have said no if it were me eating it, but I've been eating the cauliflower pizza crust because the one by Real Good <laughs> is real good. So I'm totally fine with eating that one. The regular pizza was for everybody else. So they'll be fine with this. I usually do a taco pizza or something like that on there for them and they can't really tell that it's Pillsbury crust so they'll be fine with it. Uh, and this is actually more expensive than that regular dough. So I still made out. I had ordered two and they gave me the two cans as the substitute instead. Uh, here is those Gimme's Chobani's yogurt the kids like those and I'm hoping to go to BJ's next week the kids are out of all their other yogurt um, but for now they got that uh, one thing of flat out it, it appears this one doesn't have the Italian herb every time I put that in my cart they always substitute it for the plain we don't mind the plain the Italians better um, so maybe this Walmart just doesn't carry it which means I'll have to give up on the grocery pickup and go to the one that doesn't have it but offers different things every once in a while just to kind of stock up on the stuff I can't get at this Walmart. Uh, one thing of artisanal bread, I like need to hit up the DT, you guys. I'm going through withdrawals. I haven't gone in a really long time, but just for simple things like bread, I stock up on bread, and sometimes I get this Sara Lee artisanal bread for a dollar. Uh, so for me to pay like three bucks, four bucks, it kills me, but I really like this bread. My family likes this bread, and we're out of bread. So pick that up. All right, so Jacob being home. I love my kid, but he is always hungry. He's a growing teenage boy, and like most of our conversations are about food. Now that the summer is here, he just, he's bored. And even though I'm giving him things to do, he wants to eat. So I picked up some things that are easier for him to eat, but I even ordered a HelloFresh, which you guys are gonna see soon, just specifically geared towards doing some lunches for Jake. I did the two-person one, uh, and I made some lunches that I was able to space out for him over a couple of days, and that really seemed to work. He liked the recipe cards and the fact that he could cook along with me, which was really good. Um, so maybe that's something we may continue to do once a month as a treat or every other week. Uh, but for now, this is not a week where we're doing that. So I picked him up some meals. This was a substitution. I had done the banquet one. They didn't have it. They gave him the Stouffer's, but this is just a plain regular spaghetti and meatballs. Then he really loves this Boston Market chicken parm with the spaghetti. Uh, you'll see a theme. My kid loves chicken and pasta. So that's pretty much uh, the way to his heart. So here's the boneless fried chicken pieces with the mac and cheese. This is one of the banquet mega meals. And then this by Marie Collinders is a buffalo style mac and cheese bowl. So this should give Jacob tons of options. Plus I got him chips to make nachos, so he should be good for at least the week. Uh, here's my ranch packet um, to make that ranch. Uh, this, I don't know where this came from. Somehow this ended up in my bag. I checked, I looked, I didn't order it. It wasn't a substitute for anything, so I got a bonus thing of roasted and salted sunflower seeds but that works out pretty good because I'm almost done with my crunchy toppings for my salad. So uh, this will be great for that. Uh, some more block cheeses. This has been a little hard for me to gauge because if you guys know from my previous hauls when I was buying the shredded cheese, I would buy a five pound bag and it would last me roughly about a month. So I'm figuring that I'm going to have to buy at least a block of each kind of cheese per week if I'm going to shred it myself and stuff. But I feel like when I'm shredding it myself, I'm not getting as much as I would. It's kind of annoying, but I appreciate the concept of it. So I'm going to continue to keep doing it. But uh, I feel like it's going to be hard for me to figure out what I need to purchase for my family until I don't know, I figure it out. Uh, but a lot of these keto recipes, when you're making dough like those meatball parm sandwiches or the French toast casserole, a lot of it calls for shredded mozzarella because when it melts, along with cream cheese and everything else, it serves as a really good dough base. So I picked up two blocks for some dough base things that I have to do, and then just one of these for like our regular meals. Maya's been asking for apple juice, so I got her apple juice. We have chicken broth, but we were out of beef, so I got that. 
This was another substitution. I ordered the 30 ounce container. They gave me two 20 ounce squeeze bottles. Eh, whatever, I'll take it. A thing of the Richard's peanut butter. This stuff is great, you guys. I'll probably never buy anything else. Just peanuts. No salt, no oil, no sugar, no nothing. Just peanuts. So I love that. Um, only non-food items were a thing of Scott's paper towels and the Alpo Chop House for the dogs. Um, got some coffee. <laughs> My girl Heather sent me like a little message and said, hey, your coffee's on rollback, but they must have put it back to regular price because it wasn't, it was the regular like $3.48 or whatever. But this is the toasted coconut pods. I haven't treated myself to any coffee in a while. Um, and then Daryl's pods. And then here's just some snacky stuff for the kids. So baby goldfish, that's what Maya asked for. Jake asked for popcorn, so he got those buckets. Those are his chips for nachos. I got some pork rinds to share a fried chicken recipe with you guys. Um, this is Daryl's only snack, and if you guys notice, I haven't bought anything else. This has been his only treat, and he's been really good. Like, if I give him something and he doesn't feel like he's being deprived, he's been really good about me not buying anything else. So, for my snacker, if you guys have seen or been with me for a while, you know that that's all he's been about so the fact that i've cut that down and he's been really lenient with me about that um has been great so i got him his treat uh his crackers and his squeeze cheese and you know he'll be happy uh no pop tarts for the kiddos they still have some but they got this in that box that i got and the variety fun and they fell in love with these nature's bakery fig bars they thought they were so so good so i picked them up the raspberry ones again that's why i love those boxes because then you try something i never would have bought that but now I know they love them like I'll get them all the time they're not cheap but the kids love them so who am I to complain it's a good snack um all right so again it's the summertime the kids are looking for a little snacky thing so I was going to pick up the bags of chips but I feel like this is the best choice they're all non-gmo i think that everybody all the kids will each have something that they like so daryl likes plain potato chips like when we have sandwiches and stuff so he but they're kettle cooked darn i didn't notice that all right um i should have known with the cape cod but um we'll get through it he'll have to deal um but he usually likes that with sandwiches and then maya really likes the nacho chipotle mason likes pretzels and these are the snack factory pretzel crisps which are my favorite and then jake loves sour cream and onion so there's four of each kind i think that that's great this was really fairly inexpensive so for a bag of chips i thought that was a good compromise especially when you come down now to jacob's pop tarts and then this was a substitution i ordered the bottles which were on rollback for two Two dollars but they didn't have it so they gave me the 12 pack for two bucks which is amazing that's definitely when the walmart grocery pickup works to your advantage so that was it guys that's what i got for my 144 dollars now let's get into the meal plan I swear in the summertime, you guys always end up having a little clip attached to the end of my grocery haul before the meal plan showing something I've shoved in the freezer that I forgot to take out. So I got the chocolate and vanilla ice cream sandwiches for the kids. This was actually cheaper than Aldi's this week. It was only $1.75. Last time I paid like $2 or something when I went to Aldi's. I thought that was great. $1.72 or $1.75, whatever. I thought that was obviously a better deal and the kids love these so uh this was also included in my 144 dollars and now let's get into the meal plan okay guys so here is the meal plan for june the 17th through the 23rd and of course i've already gone through most of this meal plan why because i was supposed to share this on monday and it's already saturday so before i get into the meal plan though really quick i just wanted to show you guys these things that i got from the smart baking company i ordered these after nicole started raving about them she did not stop talking about their buns which i'm kind of missing not all the time but some Sometimes the family is eating something on a bun and I don't get to do that so I was really kind of missing that bread factor sometimes and I haven't been eating any sweet treats at night you guys see we're buying no snacks in our grocery haul so I was really excited about these smart cakes because they're not very big but they're 38 calories per smart cake and I was just so excited about having like that sweet treat at night and not being deprived so I picked up the raspberry cream and then I got the cinnamon and then I got chocolate and lemon which sounds delicious and then what i love about these buns 
and they are so good you guys they're only 72 calories i love that they're individually packed they have the sesame seeds on it so you really feel like you're having a really good bun and there's six of them in here so they're just for me this will last me like a really long time because i probably wouldn't even have this once a week so it would last me more than a month and i think that's great like to have an alternative it's gluten-free everything's non-gmo so once i started trying this stuff and it was so so good i reached out to them and said all right i've tried it i've had one of everything so far and now that i've loved it i said i'm going to share it on my channel and so they gave me a code to give to you guys so if you just enter 50 shades of mom at checkout it'll give you 10 percent off your order so i'm going to put a link in the description box if you guys want to check them out i was so happy that they were willing to give me something because if you guys haven't tried them before and you're doing any kind of low carb or keto or no sugar kind of these things are amazing and i'm super picky so to find something that doesn't taste like that fake sugar to make a bread lover feel like I'm not missing out, that's really important to me. So I wanted to show you guys this before I got into the meal plan because there are no snacks that I'm showing you guys in my grocery haul. So I figured I would show you these things and let you guys know that I have a 10% off code if you want to check them out. So now a lot of this is going to be past tense, but again, as normal, I can share with you how it was. So uh, how was Wendy's? Well, I don't know. I didn't eat it. The kids got Wendy's and we just did fend for ourselves. To be honest, I didn't eat anything at all. I've, you know, just thinking about my mom and everything going on, like this has been an, a great addition to my diet, I will tell you, because uh, you certainly don't eat when you're stressed out. So the little kids ate Wendy's and Daryl had some leftovers. And like I said, I didn't have anything on Tuesday. I made a keto beef stroganoff that was so delicious that's going to be in a what's for dinner clip that you guys are going to either see sunday or monday uh, when that video comes out so so good it doesn't look the most appetizing over like those veggie noodles that i did it over but it was really 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 good and it was a great substitution i did mine with ground beef the regular recipe called for steak but it was perfectly good with the ground beef uh, i did it with broccoli so delicious really good dinner um, okay, this you guys, holy cow. Barbecue chicken casserole. Uh, I didn't do a cooking video for it, but I explain in grave detail in my what's for dinner video how to make this because it was super easy. But I put a picture on my Insta story and everyone was like, I need the recipe, need, need, need. It was so good. That Hughes barbecue sauce, that's sugar free. You don't even know it's sugar free. It tastes so sweet, so delicious. It was really, really good. Uh, I put french fries in the air fryer, but um, no air fryer yet. I did reach out to Cassandra sorry and they are sending me a new one which is super exciting um, but I don't have it yet and I thought we had french fries and we didn't so that didn't happen I ended up just making cauliflower mash and we didn't do corn on the cob we just did regular sweet corn from Trader Joe's but it was still super good uh, again that's in that what's for dinner video also this was in the what's for dinner video too and you guys I am so stinking sad about this darn Reuben so if you guys saw last time's grocery haul uh, $22 it cost me for that corned beef right well I took it out and then uh, I my everything happened with my mom and I flew to New York for one day they were talking brain surgery she may never come out of it I went there to like pay my respects to my mother in case that was my only time one day I flew in for and then flew right back home that's all we could arrange with kids and schedules and so this sat out on the counter and near the sink Daryl didn't even know it was so crazy and chaotic and then the next morning he was like all right it's still cold what do you want me to do i had him throw it in the crock pot and then by the time they picked me up from the airport and we came home we fell asleep it like never got touched you guys i ruined that $22 corned beef. I was devastated and dying for the stinking Reuben in a bowl. So I ended up going to my local food line and just getting regular corned beef from the deli counter, which is not what I wanted. Um, but I would have saved some money if I did that the first time. But uh, it was good, just not really what I wanted. The dogs ended up eating that corned beef, which just totally killed me. Um, but there is a clip of that Reuben in a bowl. Everybody had rye bread on the side. I just had mine in a bowl, but it was super, super good. Uh, that was also my girlfriend's birthday, so I intended to wish her happy birthday, but that has long passed, so happy belated birthday, Jill. Um, and then um, yesterday I made my homemade sauce, and we're going to do the low-carb meatball subs. If you guys noticed, most of this meal plan is like a replay of last week, because after everything happened, 
happened with my mom and stuff like everything got pushed off to the next week um and again last night i made the sauce and i made the meatballs and i made pasta for the little kids and i fell asleep not making that bread you were supposed to make like that keto dough around the meatball sub never got a chance to do that so still never made that which totally disappointed me because i wanted to try making that bread and never got a chance to uh today saturday uh breakfast meal prep yeah kind of can't do that just got my power back it had been off all day we had crazy thunderstorms my garage sale got canceled and nothing nothing all this meal prep i'm gonna have to push off until tomorrow so tonight we're doing this stuff because it's super easy so i have those real good things that are like pizza bites and then we're gonna do quesadillas i'm gonna do the wings and the instant pie and um I bought the regular pizza dough mix for them to have pizza. So we're just going to do like a mock appetizer night because that's quick and easy. Tomorrow I'll do the meal prep and hopefully all that stuff comes out good. And if it does, I'll film it for you guys. And that is it. So crazy week. So much going on. Thank you for all your love and support for everybody who has sent me messages and everything about my mom and all that's going on. So I really appreciate it. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.